probably don't know who I am, and that's okay. I have a story to tell, and that story is about a place called the Grassland, and where I come from. And I was also kidding about not telling you my name as well. So rude of me. Anyway, so this is how my name goes, and the friends I'm about to tell you about. Oh boy, it's a long story. So the name of my friends are none other than my best friend, Troy the Dog. Hey there, friend. How's it going? And my second best friend is Voice in the Sky. Who goes there? Um, I mean, hello. I have to tell you, me and my friends have been left in the grassland for a very long time now. And I don't ever think we're going to leave it as well. But who knows? Something might happen. And that something is a miracle. Troy, may I ask you a question? Sure, man. What's going on? Oh, nothing at the moment. Do you know another place besides the grassland we can go to? Because, you know, I'm kind of getting tired of seeing grass, you know? Snarky, I'm sorry, dude. I can't think of any other land besides this land, so I don't know what to tell you, man. I mean, you got a point there. I'm a sad, depressed elephant who has nowhere to go in life. And maybe just once, just once I need your help. Can you help me, man? Just once? Dude, you're asking the wrong guy. I mean, I may be your best friend at all, but good old Voice in the Sky may help you on this one, Snorky. Maybe he could help you out. That's actually a great idea. I'll go talk to him right now. Thanks, man. Sure, no problem. Voice in the sky. Hey, voice in the sky, can you hear me? I need your help. Please, can you hear me? I need your help. What is it you need, my child? What do you need? Well, maybe you can give me some clues and tips how to get out of this place. For example, maybe something else besides the grassland I can go to? Do you have that idea, man? You shall not ask me that question again. 
It is forbidden to leave the grassland. Do not ask me ever again. Please, I'll do anything. Just don't keep me here any longer forever. It obviously gets very, very boring. Please, my lord, let me out of this place. I don't want to be in the grassland anymore. Please. No, I am your conscience. I am your guidance counselor. I am your lord. And I order you not to disobey me. But only this once. I will tell you one part of the land you can go to. And what would that be? A place called the outskirts, known as the street. Okay, I'll be careful. You can trust me. All right, but trust cannot always be accepted. I warn you, my son. If you go any farther off the grassland, you can never return. Take my warning while you're still here. And please be safe, Snorky. All right, I promise. I promise, my lord. Going somewhere, you're not supposed to be out here, right? Wait, who the hell are you, and what do you want? Who the hell am I? Well, my friends call me the Lawn Ornament, bitch. Well, that's kind of a strange name. Who names their cat like that? It's my name, so don't judge anyway. Why are you leaving the grassland, pendejo? Anyway, do you know a way out of the grassland? Because I really want to get out of here, you know? I get that. The voice in the sky, anyways, all tells me stupid shit. Anyway, my other question. How do you get out of here? The way out of here, bruh. It's super easy. You just go that way. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Have a safe journey. And remember, don't go too far. Was nothing. I can't believe this place existed. There's only one thing I have to keep to myself. I can't tell anyone, not even Troy or Voice in the Sky. Especially not Voice. Because if I'm caught, he's gonna banish me. So, do me a favor, Snorky, and just don't tell anyone, please. Just don't.
Hey, Troy, you around, man? I need to talk to you about something important. You around? Hello? And what would that be? Look, man, I did something bad today, and you're not going to like it. Well, spit it out. What did you do? I left the grassland today, and I listened to this statue called the Lawn Ornament Cat, and I just had to tell someone. I just had to tell you about this man. It was killing me. Snarky, you know our friend Voice in the Sky is not going to be happy about this. You know, when I tell him the truth, you know. No, please, dude. Don't tell him the truth. Let's just keep it to ourselves. How about that? Bro, you know the rules. You break them, you have to pay the price. Wait, is there anything I could do to change your mind? Anything? Well, you could just lie to voice in the sky, like the cat told you to do so. I don't know after that point. You're on your own, man. Okay, if he asks me for anything, I'll just lie to him. Simple as that. Good. Glad you could keep my word. What else are you going to do today, Snorky? Oh, I don't know. You know, probably sit back and relax. I don't know after that point. I just don't know. You know, dude, one of these days, we should explore the outskirts ourselves. What do you say, man? Yeah, agreed. We should do it. Same, same. Anyway, I should see what voice in the sky is up to. All right, later, man. All right, ciao, Snorky. Later. All right, bye. Voice in the sky. Hey, voice in the sky, are you there? I want to tell you about my day. Hello? Are you there? Oh, indeed you do have to tell me. But one question, where have you been, Snorky? Um, you know I've been hanging with Troy, right? And after that, not much. That's all I gotta tell you. But the sound of your voice, you're not being very honest with me. Now start talking. Where have you been? I told you I've been with Troy, just talking with him. I'm being honest, I swear. All right, I will only believe you this once. But next time, if I catch you doing something you're not supposed to be doing, you're going to be in some serious trouble. So remember that, Snorky. I'm watching you. Don't do anything stupid. Anyway, I might see what Troy is doing, so I gotta go. Nice chatting with you, boys of the sky. If I have anything to tell you about, I'll just let you know, okay? Okay, ciao, my friend. And remember, be honest with me. Okay, no problem. Later, bye. What did I just do? I can't believe it. I just lied to him. Why did you do that, Snorky? Why? Well, you know what? I think lying to him was for the best. Just whatever you do, Snorky, just don't lie to him again. And if you go to the outskirts again, just tell him the truth. How hard can it be? No, that won't work, because he will just banish me. Oh, I have to think of something. Um, I'll just think about it later. Anyway, I'll just go back to the outskirts again. Well, here goes nothing. I see you're leaving again. Why so soon? I know you saw what I saw. Look, I was amused when I saw and I want to try it again. Is that going to be a problem for you? Is it? If you're going to go out there again, make sure to lie again. The voice in the sky. I'll be sure to take that advice, my friend. Anyway, I don't always want to lie to voice in the sky, though. Trust me, he'll fall for it again, like he did last time. You might be right on this one, but I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see. All right, well, uh, wish you luck. I may be the worst influence ever, but this is totally not worth it. 
Okay, whatever. Bye. What is this place? I know it's called the outskirts, but what is it? Whoa, bro. You just need to simmer down and enjoy yourself. Believe in peace, man. Bro, I don't need peace. What I need to know is what is this place called? Do you know the name? By the sound of your voice, man, it seems like you don't believe me. Well, yeah, obviously, because none of this makes sense. I mean, how'd you get here, man? How? The place, man, is the garden. It's my place. The garden of the Buddha, man. Okay, that makes somewhat sense. Listen, man, I got here by peace and love. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The voice of this guy sent me here because he's a piece of... I mean, I was banished. So whatever you do... Don't end up like me, man. Um, okay, I'll take that advice. All right, I gotta go. Bye. a deep sleeper. This never happens before. What the hell is going on? And where am I? Everything is just in my eyes, black and white. This doesn't make any sense. What's going on? I have to get to the bottom of this. Okay, Snorky, think. How will you get out of this? I have nothing. Wait, I got an idea. Maybe I can get out of this dream by really thinking hard. What are you afraid of? Think hard, Snorky. What makes you scared? In your head, think. Wait, I got it. I know what I'm scared of. I'm afraid of being banished from the grassland. Yeah, I don't want to be banished from there, because it's my home, it's my land, and I gotta save it. What? What? W what was that? W what hit me? Hello? Is anyone behind me? Alright, I must look. I just have to. Oh, oh well, I guess it was all just my imagination. Well, I'm gonna go back to sleep now. There'll be nothing that can scare me. I mean, absolutely nothing. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. It was all a dream. What bad dream, Snorky? Why are you so up soon? Oh, uh, oh, Troy, um, 
this is not what it looks like. Um, I, I can explain. Oh, I'm sure you can explain, Snorky. Again, answer my question. Why are you up so soon? Um, I'm up because, uh, the dream was really bad, okay? I'll talk about it tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go back to sleep, Troy. So, good night. So, uh, leave me be, okay? Good night. Okay, uh, good night, I guess. Have a good night's rest, Snorky. We'll talk tomorrow morning. Hey, Troy, you want to know what my bad dream was about, right? Yeah, you were acting weird yesterday. Can you, uh, explain that, Snorky? Okay, well, I'm kind of afraid to be banished, so that's why I was acting weird yesterday. All right, that makes sense. And what else were you going to tell me? Well, I kind of had this idea. You know when I went to the outskirts, and without telling you, um, I might do that again, so do you want to join? Yeah, I guess. So what the heck? Let's do it. Got me in too, guys. Where did we start at? Hey, it's you again. What do you need? Bro, to be honest, this place is kind of gets lonely. That's why I want to come along today. Can I please join? Please? Oh, what the heck? Sure, why not? We need a buddy to come along anyway. Alright, awesome. Let's begin our journey to outskirts. Man, I'm lo looking forward to it. I wanted to explain this area of grass. I know you passed through here, Snorky, and I marked my territory here once, man, so I thought you just wanted to know that. Wait, how do you know my name? <laughs> Bro, a voice in the sky told me, and I believe your name is Troy, correct? Yep, that's my name. Pleased to meet you, even though we just met. Hey, Lawn Ornament Cat, can you explain this area right here? Where maybe Snorky can. I think he knows about this place. No, I know this place is better than Snorky does, so the story is. This small park used to be a house, right? Well, the truth is, I used to be owned by an elderly man before he passed. After he passed, the place was torn down, and I was forced to live in the grassland. So that's why where I live, I'm at right now. But thanks to the voice in the sky, I kind of have a home. Well, that's good to know. I'm sorry you lost your owner, but no worries, man. We're here for you. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. At least I have some friends. Now I know we just met, but still. Now we get you. Welcome to our group, man. The Loner Group. That's a cool name for our group anyway. Let's go hang in that tree over there. I'm kind of bored now. You know, I kind of said to myself, Troy and Lawn Ornament Cat, that I need to tell someone about my forbidden walks to here. And at least I told you guys, at least I have someone who I can trust. Yeah, it's all good. 
At least it told us. Um, the thing I kind of knew about it, because I listened to you in the voices conversations, and you lied to him about coming here, so I just knew you were going to the outskirts. Okay, that's not creepy at all. Just let me know next time when you're standing there or saying nothing. It's a little creepy, man, so let me know next time, okay? Sorry, bro. I will next time. I have to warn you. I can be randomly quiet sometimes, so if I'm quiet, don't freak out. All right, I promise I won't freak out. I pinky swear. Okay, anyway, let's watch the cars go by this time. It's a nice view. <coughs> Is something wrong, man? You seem kind of quiet. Troy, look, I kind of regret going to the grassland. I know I've said that many times before, but still, man, I'm kind of nervous. Dude, I know the voice in the sky. He's one of your closest friends, but he still can't control your life. Yes, he can. Hey, dude, you're forgetting he can banish anyone. Snarky, he says that all the time. The truth is, he has no control over us. He just says that so he can scare us. Yeah, uh-huh. I highly doubt that. Keep your voice down. You're gonna wake up the lawn ornament bitch here. Oops, sorry. I thought he was a deep sleeper. My bad. Eh, it's fine. Anyway, I need you to listen. I really think this relationship with Voice in the Sky isn't very healthy. And I really think you should consider not listening to him anymore. I think it's for the best, man. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Cause it's hard to reject Voice in the Sky sometimes. No, the problem is you're too nice to him all the time. You gotta learn to reject him and not to always listen to him. I don't really consider that a friendship as well. Yeah, you're right. This relationship with Voiceless Guy has turned toxic. I'm probably gonna start to make it clear to him it's my life, not his. Alright, there you go. That's the spirit, man. Now show that bully who you're made of. Yeah, I'll stand up to him. I'll do it. Good idea, bro. Yeah, definitely. Anyway, I'm ready to go to bed, Snorky. So you have a good night. All right. Good night, Troy. Good night, Snorky. Hey, voice in the sky. Hey, voice in the sky. I have something urgent I want to tell you about. Voice in the sky. Okay, what could it be this time? Look, I've been thinking about it, and I think your advice has not been really helpful lately. You have made me feel down, to be honest. So I'm really not going to listen to you anymore. I hope you understand. What? Why not? What have I done this time? Look, it's nothing personal, but you're kind of a bully, to be honest. How is the grassland my life? It's been your life ever since I've known you. And the bully, how could you, Snorky? I trust in you. What is the matter with you? I am your friend. I care. Okay, if you're really my friend, then why am I here? You are here because I said so. Okay, now stop that talking to me. I am your commander. Commander? Then prove it, or are you just a figment of my imaginations? Come to me when you stop with the excuses. I've had enough of this.
Hey, Troy, I need to tell you something. Is this the right time to ask? Did you talk to the voice in the sky about how you personally feel about the way he treats you? Did you do that, Snorky? Yeah, the thing about that is I was able to finally stand up to him and tell him that he wasn't the boss of me. So yeah, I was able to do that. Dude, that's awesome. That's the spirit, man. Now that's what I'm talking about. I know, right? It's about time. Yeah, man. But one more question. Does he know that you're going to the outskirts without his permission? Does he know? Did I think about telling him? Oh crap, I didn't. What do I do, man? What you need to do is absolutely nothing. What kind of response is that? What do you mean, do nothing? What I mean is, just don't tell him about what you do. It's simple as that. Well, I guess you're right. I guess I'm just gonna have to keep this to myself then. Yeah, now you're talking. Yep, anyway, I gotta get going to the outskirts now. So, I'll talk to you later, Troy. Later, man. All right, ciao, Snorky. Bye. again. No, it can't be. The, the tree, where uh, me, Lonimer, Cat, and Troy stood at. This can't be. Uh, I'm really upset and confused right now. Why? Why did this have to happen? I mean, they didn't have to take it down. They could have saved it. Trees are good for the environment. Uh, I don't get why they did it. Well, it's probably because ants were probably eating into it. When we sat there, there was a lot of ants on it anyway, so it's not really a big deal. I mean, I was making a big deal about it, but I need to just let it go. Trees are trees. Just let it go. Anyway, all right. Think hard, Snorky. Where am I going to go now? I got as far as I did right here, but there's got to be more areas to explore here in the outskirts. Now think, where could I go? Where? <gasps> Wait, I got it. 
Maybe I could do this and, uh, oh, never mind. I forgot. All right, let's think again. All right, think real good. Think deep. Seriously, how do I get out of here? I got it. I'll just go through this hole. But I wonder where it will take me to. Where? Oh wait, now I know where I am. This is the outer part of the outskirts that I talked about. Yeah. This is the place. I remember now. Psst. Psst. Oh, hey, it's you again. Why are you following me? What do you want? Okay, bye, I guess. All right, what am I gonna do now? Let me think again. Let me think. You know what? I've been thinking about it, and... Maybe I gotta go find the guys about this. Yeah. Maybe I'll find them. Maybe I'll talk to them about this whole situation. Where could they be at? Where? Oh, they're probably back at home. So, I'm probably just gonna go visit them after this. But let me just sit here for a while and think. How's it going? You just chilling? Okay. Are you just gonna stand there or are you gonna say something? Well, say something. Hey, bitch. I wanted to congratulate you for standing up to the voice in the sky. I was pretty brave. Yeah, I was kind of getting tired of his excuses, so I was just so fed up that I told him I had enough. I'm glad you get me, though. I bet, but hopefully he doesn't find out about what you're doing, or what are we doing. What do you mean, we? We always go to the outskirts together. We always break the rules. I don't know why you mean we. Bro, come on, we're friends for God's sake. Can I be included? Yeah, I guess. Why not? I think we're friends. That's a good idea, man. Let's be friends. Nice. Anyway, I'm gonna find Troy and I might have a plan to get us out of here. Why? This place is nice. Why not? Dude, no offense, but it's a hellhole. Trust me on this one. Yeah, I guess you're not wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing right now. Just so I let you know. Okay, ciao, bro.
Hey, Troy. Long time no see. What's up? Oh, nothing much. You know we've only been apart for a few hours, right? Yeah, I know. I just missed you, that's all. It's all good. Hey, one question. Have you talked to Voice in the Sky recently? No, actually. Uh, I haven't. Snorky Troy, I want to see you two right now. And also, I know you have an unwelcome visitor here. Now come to me now, all of you. Oh, man. That really sucks. That's just great. Uh, why? Why? Aww. What does he want now? Alright, what's this about? What did we do this time? Now, Lord of the Cat, what did I tell you not to do? I told you not to come back, and I said you were banished for good. And you, Snorky, have also been going to the outskirts without my permission with him. And is that true, Lord of the Cat? Is it? Um, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Just remember, Bo. Keep quiet. Don't say anything stupid. Keep quiet. Oh, Bo said, you know what you're talking about. And you, Snorky, you and Ron are always going to the outskirts without my permission. Now I'm very pissed. Alright, I admit it. I told Snorky to go with me to the outskirts land. Dude, why? Man, come on. Oh, dude, why? Okay, that's just great. Just great. No, you know. What are you going to do about it now? Well, what I'm going to do, unfortunately, since you all disobeyed me and made me angry, I'm going to have to banish all of you for life. Dude, screw you. You're not our best friend anymore. You never were. You're nothing but a careless prick. You happy now? For saying that comment and back talking to me, all of you are banished for an additional 300 years life, like I said. What? No, you can't do this to us. Give us a chance. You all have a chance. It's over now. Get out of my face, you pathetic fools. Tell us to leave now. All right, what do you have? A guard or something to kick us out? I don't think you have that. Think again, Snorky. Hello there. I am the gatekeeper. You will all come with me. Trust me, you don't want to mess with me. Now come, young ones, before this gets ugly. <sighs> uh... You know what? Fuck you, bitch. I'm out of here. I said no backtalking the master. You are all gonna come with me now. Do it now. <sighs> I thought I'd let you know what the voice in the sky said to all of you. He said, if you ever return to this place ever again, you will all die. So do as he asks, and do as he says, and nothing here will turn ugly. Just obey him. It's that simple. 
I am done talking now. You guys are unfortunately on your own. Take care, you losers. Hey guys, I wanted to apologize for getting us all banned for life. I feel so stupid now. I'm so sorry, guys. It's okay. Kind of my fault, to be honest. Well, yeah, it's your fault. Now we're stuck in this mess. Now what? Um, I kind of have an idea. Okay. Well, what is it?
No, it's nothing. I it's stupid. No, seriously, Snorky, tell me. I told you, Troy. Just drop it. No. You gotta tell me now. What is it? Um. Um. Well, spit it out. Come on, dude. Spit it out. Okay, I was thinking. Maybe we could take out all of Boyce in the Sky's guards. And yeah, that's my plan. What do you think? What do I think? Really? That's all you came up with? Do you realize now how many of them there will be, Snorky? Do you realize? Yes, I'm well aware. How? It's easy. We just take them out one by one. Okay. Were you even listening to what me and Snorky were saying? You need to listen better, dude. Seriously. Alright, I thought so. Anyway, what were you saying, Snorky? Yeah, alright, okay. Uh, this is gonna be a hard one, but unfortunately, Lawn Ornament Cat has a good point. Sorry, Troy. Trust me, this plan will work. Well, I guess you're right, Snorky. He does have a good point. Okay. But do we know how many of them we're going to take out one by one? Do you realize how many of them they're going to be? Because, oh god, we're doomed if we don't know. Hey man, come on, don't say that. Don't talk that way. No, I'm going to talk that way. Unless a miracle happens, there's nothing we can do about this. Okay, then, then what do we do, Troy? Do you have an idea? Huh? Well, I don't want to start an argument with you, but you don't need to talk this way, Snorky. We can figure something out. No, we can't! We can't do anything about it! What do we do? What makes you say that? Huh? What the? Hey, who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I overheard your conversation saying you want to defeat the voice in the sky. And I have an idea for you fellas. Oh my goodness, so rude of me. I should have introduced myself. My name is the Lawn Ornament Frog. Known as the Lawn Ornaments Bitch, as well. And I want to help you defeat the voice in the sky, because I know how to. And you guys don't have a knowledge of it, but I do. Alright, like how? Yeah, Gandalf, how? How do you know? Alright, very funny, Snarky. That's not my name, it's the Frog. Good joke, though. Anyway... I'll tell you and your friends how you can defeat the voice in the sky. But there's one thing you need to do for me. Do you promise not to tell anyone if I show you my magical powers? Because I am the most powerful frog in the whole land of the grass. You will see. Do you promise? Okay, I promise. Yeah, I pinky swear too. All right, since you guys know, here's how it goes. Wind and whistles, power through the lightning. I shall cast many cradles on you. This power shall go to these three younglings, as they are the true keepers of the grassland. And as they hold the power of these wands, they will have complete control over what the voice in the sky does. I cast you three to be the new kings of our land. I cast you these magical scepters. What are these? They just look like straws to me. No, 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 no. They're magical wands, you see? No, they're straws. It's uh, pretty obvious. 
No, I said their wands. Their straws. Their wands. Their straws. Their wands. They are straws, for God's sakes. Again, they are magic wands. You'll be able to defeat him with the special power you three hold now. Again, and this is final. They are wands. Okay, how do you know that these will work? I mean, look. They, they just look like ordinary straws to me. How do you know you can trust what the lawn ornament cat says? These will backfire, and when we use these against the armies, I doubt these will work. How do you know these will work? These will work because I said they will work. They are also from the Sorcerer's Dungeon of the Mythical Land of Reptiles. Okay? They will work. Trust me! Okay. Can you explain again where they're at? Like, where they came from? Because that made no sense. I told you again. They came from the Sorcerer's Dungeon. That is a fact, and truth. Now trust me on this, please. Anyway, my young ones, you have the power of these wands. Use them wisely. Sir, I have a question for you. Do you think Snorky and the gang will come back? In my head, I think they won't return. What do you think, sir? I just can't get it out of my mind, you know? What do you think? Do you think they will come back? I told you, they're banished for life. What makes you say that kind of nonsense? Why, Keeper of the Land, why? Do you say that? But that's the exact opposite of what I said. I said they probably won't return as well. Why are you speaking for me, sir? This is not right at all. Why? I speak for you because I said so. Now do as I say, and nothing bad will happen. Anyway, anything else to talk about? All right, all right. I guess that's all you have to say, don't you? But keep my word, they will return. I know it for sure. But there's one thing you should know, is that I am the most powerful gatekeeper of this land. And if they do return, I will say what I said a while ago, that they will be dead, that you will have them executed. I promise you that, sir. They will be executed. Indeed you will keep your promise. That's what I order you to do. If you see them on this land, have them executed. That's what I recommend you. Yes, I promise, sir. If it will make you feel any better, I will make sure all the guards know to keep Snorky and his friends out of the grassland. I will keep that in mind, for sure. I will make sure they will never return, ever again. Anyway... I should let my men know what you said. This is the talk we had. Anyway, good day, sir. I have an announcement to make to you gentlemen. This will be your duties, to keep out Snorky and his friends for good. If you can do that, we can accomplish anything, and I mean anything that you want. Anything you need is all here for you. You just have to do me the one favor I ask, to keep out Snorky. 
for good. Very good. You acknowledged my comments, didn't you? You have your master right here. Now make me happy and keep them out of this land. Farewell, my children. I must go now. Okay, here's the plan. We intercept the guards, one by one, like Lawn Ornament Cat here said. Then, after we intercept them, we pull our magic wands, and we destroy the voice in the sky once and for all. What do you guys say? You in? Yeah, I guess we're in. I mean, what choice do we have? We have the choice to end this, and that's now. I guess you're right, my friend. All right, Troy, we need to split up. So Lonor and Cat go on the north side, Troy go on the east side, and I will go on the south side. That is where we'll go. Let's split up now. Bongo! I said super again. There we go. Good job, guys. I think we got rid of them. Well, for now. Yeah, you got that right. For now. The voice in the sky asked you to never come back again. And why are you here? There is one thing, unfortunately, that will happen to you three. You will die, as the gatekeeper ordered. We asked you not to come back, and you're here. I'm very sorry, my friends. You're gonna die. Uh-oh, we're in trouble now. Troy, what do we do? Well, it's easy, Snorky. We have this. Magic wand up in the air. Get this dinosaur away from us. Holy 
shit. It actually worked. You did it, man. You, you, you got rid of him. Yeah, I guess I did. Wow, the frog was right. These really work. I guess we should listen to him from now on. What have you done? I told you guys never to return again. And look what you did. You took out all my guards. I'm gonna have to kill you now. Well, looks like we need that wand again. The Cradles. Alakazam! I can't believe it. You did it again. Good job, man. Thanks, Snorky. You're a good pal, you know that? So are you, my friend. So are you. How dare you into my land like this? I told you never to come back again. Why are you here? I told you to leave. You will all die now. You're all dead. Well, here goes nothing. We're gonna defeat our worst enemy, who we thought was our best friend. But he wasn't. Yes, we're defeating him at last. Hey, you bastard, take this. All right, guys, wands out. I can't believe it. We did it. He's gone for good. Yay, we did it. Yay, 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 yay. All right, we did it. Well, that's the story we had to tell. How me and my friends defeated the voice in the sky. It was good and long, like I told you. And I wanted to thank you for sitting through this. I imagine you guys liked hearing my story, how I went on this adventure, and how I came back on it. Anyway, I just wanted to say thanks to everyone. Also, I wanted to thank my friends as well. I'm the best storyteller here, and I know that. Also, some of my friends wanted to say goodbye to you guys. They're right over there. Continuing with my story. If it wasn't for my friends, we would have never defeated the voice in the sky. I thank them for their help. I thank them for their courage. I thank them for everything they've done for me. I love them very much, and they did good. I'm just glad we got through this. Without them, I would have been nothing. I thank them. Now, I live my life as an independent elephant. Well, that is the story of my life of Snorky.